Hello. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys about IDLE. It is the integrated development environment or IDE that you use to write your Python code with. So there's two modes of it, but first let's get it open. So this is the directory where we installed Python in the last tutorial. So once here we can go to lib, idle lib, and find this idle.py file and we can run it. And now we have idle open. Alternatively, if you're on Windows, you can still just search it here. And you'll get the same thing. So now, this is the interactive shell. So what does the interactive shell do for us? Well, it does a couple of things. Um, but first, I want to stress that uh, I'm going to be writing some code that I don't expect uh, new Python programmers to understand. So don't worry about that at all. Um, but what you can do right now is just type exactly what I'm typing to make sure everything is set up correctly. So if I say print, hello, oh my, and we can see hello printout, if that works for you, that means everything is installed correctly and that's great. So a few more things it does for us is it lets us run individual lines of code. So I can make a variable called x and set it equal to five. And then what I can do after that is say print x. So it remembers that I made an x variable earlier in this in this instance of this program so if i close this and i reopen idle if i say print x again it's gonna say i don't know what x is so it just it remembers what you've told it since it opened but once you've closed it it forgets everything so that's obviously a problem for bigger programs so how do we fix that well that's where the second mode comes in so if we hit file new file We'll get just this plain notepad looking document or program and this is where we're going to be doing the majority of our coding so now that we're here i'm going to just write those same lines of code so you can see the difference between the interactive shell and this notepad ish mode so i'll just say print uh hello And notice when I hit enter, the, the line doesn't print out. You know, I'm just going to the next line. So then I'll say x is equal to five, print x. So now to actually run these lines of code, what we have to do is go up here, hit run, run module, and it's gonna need to be saved. It has to create a Python file to then run from. So we hit okay. And tuna fish. So now this other window pops open um, and we can see that hello was printed out and then five was printed out. So if all this is working for you, if you can do this on your screen, everything's set up perfectly and you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So I'll see you there.